I'm going to set an electric car lap time in this. Now between you and I, that's going to be a serious production electric car track record here at Castle Coombe. We have got the right tool for the job. We've got the BYD Seal Excellence all-wheel drive. Makes 523 brake horsepower, just 0 to 62 in 3.8 seconds. And that is super saloon performance. If you're wondering who BYD is, the initials stand for Build Your Dreams, and this Chinese maker was founded in 1995 and makes everything from batteries to electric buses alongside its electric cars. In late 2023, BYD overtook Tesla to become the world's biggest EV maker and hopes its scale can cool the earth by one degree C. But today it's all about that zero emissions lap record, so let's head out for some sighting laps. The first thing to say about this circuit is just how fast it is. Obviously, it's an old REF airfield, and this is the perimeter road. So it's just a big circle around the outside of an old airfield. 1.85 miles, really, really quick. Nice smooth surface generally, but there are a few lumps and bumps underlying sort of the surface, especially in like braking zones, stuff like that, that can unsettle the car. And the circuit tends to fall away from you a bit, and there's not very much runoff here at all. The SEAL has got a couple of things to help us out with that. One of them is Intelligent Torque Adaption Control, or ITAC for short, and that just helps juggle the torque and the power front to rear and side to side across the axles and just make sure the power is going down as cleanly as possible. The other thing is we've got semi-active suspension on this Excellence all-wheel drive model, and that's constantly reacting to the road surface and just picking up on those lumps and bumps I mentioned and just trying to keep the car nice and stable. Under the skin, there's BYD's e-platform 3.0 and an 82.5 kilowatt hour cobalt-free battery called Blade. There's also 50-50 weight distribution, a double wishbone front axle, and a multi-link rear. Entry-level design spec gives you 230 kilowatt performance with 354 miles of range. Our top spec excellence all-wheel drive is just 3,000 pounds more at 48,695 pounds. It still has 323 miles of range, but crucially adds all-wheel drive and has 390 kilowatt. BYD's so proud of the 3.8 second 0-62 time, it's put it on the boot lid. Now it is a nice refined car, it's really weird to be on a circuit and have such a quiet, relaxed feeling car. It rides nice and smoothly as well, you can feel that suspension doing its thing, keeping the body nice and flat but you've got this accelerator under my right foot that feels absolutely primed with energy. Very, very fast car on a fast circuit. And I think as I do my faster laps, I'm just gonna have to feed in that power gradually and carry the momentum, I think, and just build up to this fast lap. We have got Eco Contact tires, and they're really good for range, but not so good for grip at the limit. So I've just got to moderate that a little bit but yeah I've got all that power at my disposal so let's see what we can do Just trying to keep my vision far ahead down this circuit car is moving pretty rapidly now already as we're building up yeah I think the difference between being a little bit early on the brakes here and being a little bit too late is probably quite a narrow little window just the uh, emergency braking kicking in. Those brakes are gonna keep just triggering those hazard warning lights. You can feel the ITAC system actually moving stuff around, helping us to tuck into corners here. The brakes are having a little bit of a grumble there, but the hauling is down very nicely, just nice and smooth through this bit because the track falls away from us. And again here, just got a bit wide to deal with that adverse camber opening it out here coming back over ready for this very fast hammer down section <laughs> it's quite 
quick, quick. We've just still got quite a bit of a damp surface here that I have to watch, just in those really deep braking zones. Puts the power down really, actually juggles, went full to the floor there, full acceleration. They actually dealt with that really well. Overall, really stable, really smooth. The steering's nice and accurate as well. So it feels like quite a luxurious, quick car when you get into it. But actually over, over the circuit, it's not falling to bits at all. It's actually turning in nicely, getting the power down really nicely. So if I can work with this car, bring all those kind of strengths to the fore, we should get quite a good result here. Castle Coombe opened in 1950 and has a few eco-credentials of its own. There's a solar farm in the infield, and rather than create an all-new racetrack, this one's been recycled from an old REF base. With those sight elapsed in the bank and the team from Timing Experts Race Logic on hand, it's time to see what the BYD seal can do. I'll do five laps in total, including an out lap and a cool down lap, then put our fastest time into the record books. But just as we get set up, the weather closes in, making it a race against time to grab some laps while we can. So it's just started to rain a little bit here, so we um, made a start on the laps through the uh, hammer down here, really quick corner, hopefully it's not got any grease here. Seems to actually have a decent amount of bite and quite like the way the tail's moving around is that corner. Oh, I've cooked it a little bit there. Is that going to affect my time? Straight ah. again. There we go. Uh, I need more, more wipers, more wipers now. Quite like how adjustable it is, you can flick it into that chicane and get the back moving around. Yeah, I think that's it. One thirty two. It looks like that's the best I can do, but after a short break, the weather improves and I grab the chance to do one last lap. Fastest bit here through this late apex, going up to Avon Rise, this is called, where the car gets quite unsettled. Let's thread it over here. Aim for the traffic lights, hard on the brakes, early in, but quite a late apex as well, so just keep it tucked in. And then down towards this first chicane here. as we dare on this bit. Just roll off a little bit earlier than the last lap to get it in, get back on the power as the track falls away. Into the chicane here. Over the kerb there to hug this corner, shorten the lap as much as we can, and then we're back down to the final corner before the start finish straight here. 
So it all comes down to one last squeeze of the brakes, one last apex, and one last full throttle dash to the finish. A glance at the race logic data shows we've done it. Our time of 1 minute 31 seconds is more than 1.5 seconds up on our previous best and sets the series production electric car record here at Castle Coombe. It hasn't all been plain sailing, the weather hasn't played ball, our eco tyres are designed for maximum range, not minimum lap time, and there's no escaping that the luxurious Seal EV is heavier than a petrol super saloon. It's a car designed for rapid driving with refinement, not flat out racing. That said, having so much of its weight tucked down low between the axles and so little hanging over the nose keeps it balanced under braking and helps it turn in much more eagerly than expected. It also puts its power down fuss free thanks to a combination of all wheel drive and the clever ITAC system that constantly juggles power around. So there you have it, 1 minute 31 seconds from the BYD seal is the series production all-electric record at Castle Coombe.